Jesus Christ is our living hope. Hallelujah. Every chains had been broken already from the beginning. Hallelujah. Not just now. It has been broken. And so shall it remain in Jesus' gracious name. Praise God. You are welcome to service. You are welcome to church. Please take your seats in the name of Jesus Christ. And let's bring out our daily dose of spiritual vitamins. Hallelujah. It's another opportunity in the presence of God. It's another time of refreshment. Another time of blessing. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' mighty name. I am grateful once again for this opportunity given unto me by Daddy, Hallelujah, and Mommy. And I pray that even as we share this word this evening, that you will benefit from it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I say thank you for this time once again. May the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. Today, our topic says, God's plan for you is wholeness. Hallelujah. God's plan for you is wholeness. Hey, this is awesome. On Sunday, the topic was, it is settled. Hallelujah. Yes, when I listened to the message again, hallelujah, when mommy was explaining, you know, it's like reassuring you that, you know, what God said those years back is still relevant till tomorrow. Praise the Lord. And it will never change. You are the one that will make it work. Hallelujah. You are the one that holds the key to make it work because God has already said it. And because he has said it, he said he watches over his word to make sure that it comes to pass. Hallelujah. May it be unto you according to your faith this evening. In Jesus' mighty name. Third John verse 2 says, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well. Hallelujah. Even as your soul is getting along well. Amen. You know, um, many a time we think that when we abuse our body, it will be recorded to us that we are working hard. Sometimes we just abuse our body and then we are broken down. Hallelujah. When you break down, a lot of things come up, diseases, sicknesses, afflictions. Let me tell you one thing. There is no glory to it that you are down, that you are faced with sicknesses and diseases. Praise the Lord. The glory of God is shown when you are kicking and bubbling. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it's not like when you say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. The flesh also has to be strong to move along. And that is where the glory of God is showcased. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May you enjoy good health and may all go with your body in Jesus' precious name. This is already enough. Hallelujah. This is already enough. I do not know what you are expecting or what you are believing God for. Praise the Lord. But I want to tell you this evening that your physical body, your social life, your career, your marital life, everything about you is supposed to be whole because that is the promise of God. Praise the Lord. You remember in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, hallelujah. He said he carried, he bought our sins, hallelujah. Everything about us, he carried them to the cross. And he was nailed there. And the Bible said by the stripes of Jesus, we were made whole from the beginning. Hallelujah. And the Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, if you read it to 14, it is telling you that the thoughts that God has for you is thought of good, not of harm. Hallelujah. Thought of greatness, thought of beautiful things, thought of excellent things to give you a future 
that is filled with hope. Hallelujah. To give you a future that is filled with hope. And for you to get that, you just need to open your eyes, open your mind, open your spirit to the abundance of the promises of God in the Bible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, he said, come unto me. It is a great invitation. Come unto me, all you that are heavily laden, all you that are weary. Hallelujah. He said, come unto me. What will I do? He said, he will give you rest. Hallelujah. He said, he will give you rest. You can imagine God himself telling you, just come. I am going to give you rest. And in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, he said, Come unto the throne of grace, hallelujah, that you will obtain mercy and grace for help in times of need. Praise the Lord. How do I need to explain this thing for you to understand it? That God wants you to be whole. He wants you to be very, very whole. He wants you to be active. He wants you to be joyful in his presence. Praise the Lord. He says, come. Hallelujah. So, as a matter of fact, this evening, I want us to remember that it has been settled from the beginning that we are the, you know, the chosen ones. The ones that God had decided to bless from the beginning. Hallelujah. He said you are a special person, a peculiar person, a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Do you realize that you are a royal priesthood? Do you realize that, you know, there is something about you? You are the thing that matters to God. Hallelujah. God made everything with the word. But when it comes to making you, he sat down and he went to work. Hallelujah. He went to work. He didn't just speak and say, man, come out. No. He said, let us make man in our own image. So when you remember that you are a special person, when you remember that you gave God time, God gave his time, God took time, he sat down, he looked at you, he created you, he didn't just leave you to be like a log of wood, he breathed into you the bread of life, and he said, you are my image, he said, just go ahead, rule the earth, dominate it, subdue it, hallelujah, praise God. The plan for God is that you will be made whole. Spirit, soul, and body. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that. And the moment you understand it, it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want us to know that when we talk about wholeness, God is interested in you being whole. In fact, there was no provision for sickness for you. Hallelujah. There was no provision for sickness. It only came as a result of disobedience. Praise the Lord. So the original plan of God for you is that at every point in time, you are in supernatural health. Hallelujah. You are not even talking about healing. You are in divine health. Praise the Lord. And that is what God is reminding you this evening through our daddy in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember that he wants you to prosper. All round, all round prosperity. Not just in your wallet. Hallelujah. But your wallet, in your career, in your pursuit, your desires, everything about you. God wants you to be whole. And that you shall have in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I thought somebody would be excited about that. Hallelujah. And as it is written in Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10, that it, I should say to the righteous, it is well. So I am saying to you this evening, it is well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Do not neglect your body. Hallelujah. Do not neglect your body. Do not overwork your body. Hallelujah. Do not overwork it. The person
person that made it and gave it to you has given it to you for a reason, for you to worship him. So there is no point whenever you are coming to him, you are coming dejected, you are coming so tired that you are even finding it difficult to carry your body. No! He's interested in seeing you bubbling. He's interested in seeing you jumping. He's interested in seeing you being happy, being joyful in his presence. Praise the Lord. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Point of meditation says, the Lord will always deliver the righteous. Is there a righteous person in the house this evening? Hallelujah. You are the righteousness of Christ. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And all he wants to see you do, he wants to see you joyful. He wants to see you smile. Hallelujah. He wants to see you laugh. Hallelujah. So whenever the devil wants to throw the arrow of sorrow, the arrow of sadness to you, reject it. Give it back to him. Hallelujah. And jump up and shout, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has made me whole. Praise God. The Lord bless you mightily in Jesus' gracious name. In Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6, the Bible says, Nevertheless, hallelujah, I want you to say amen as these words are coming. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to you in the name of Jesus. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundance in peace and security. Hallelujah. Oh, isn't that amazing? If you cannot take any other thing home, just, re just carry it home as you are going. Just be telling yourself, I have peace. I have joy. I have security in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I love something that is written in the book of Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. Hallelujah. The Bible said, the Lord bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Hallelujah. The Lord give you peace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah, what an awesome God. This month, Daddy has been giving it to us back to back. Hallelujah. Back to back. First, he says, you are healed. And he, then he says, just, you, it is settled. Hallelujah. And then he said, come to the banquet. Come to the banquet table. Hallelujah. For he said, he has brought me into his banqueting hall. And his banner over me is love. Hallelujah. Hey, our God is awesome. His ways is full of assurances here and there, everywhere. He scattered them in his word so that every time you open the Bible, hey, you have comfort, you have peace, you have, you have all that you need in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So this evening, I want you to realize that God loves you so much. He loves you so, so much. And because he does that, may his peace never depart from you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I want to close with the Bible in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 to 14. Hallelujah. I want us to just read it together because when you see these words, you are reassured that God has something for you. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 29. Hallelujah. Verse 11 to 14, the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me, when you shall search for me with all your heart, and I will be found of you, said the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity, and will gather you 
from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, said the Lord. And I will bring you again, hallelujah, into the place where I caused you to be carried away captive, hallelujah. This is the promise of God. Praise the Lord. It is his promise. So it does not matter how far you have drifted away. Hallelujah. It does not matter how, how you have neglected the word. If only you will return back. If only you will come back. For he said, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves, call upon me. He said, I will heal their land. I will receive them back. Praise the Lord. There is no exception to it. Many of us have gone very, very far away from where God wants us to be. But if you can come back this evening, he said, I will not despise you. I will not reject you in the name of Jesus. You might be looking at me, hallelujah. The only thing I want you to remember is that the devil will never want you to laugh. He will never want you to be joyful. So it is your duty to tell him, look, devil, no, 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 no. God bought me with a price. A price that is much more higher than money. Much more higher than silver and gold. He bought me with his blood. Praise the Lord. And therefore, I remain the, you know, the priceless gift of this generation from God. May we be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Is somebody blessed this evening? Hallelujah. Please, I want to advise you. I want to encourage you. Make this daily devotional your companion every day. Make sure you take it in every day because it keeps reminding us. It keeps reminding us. It keeps reminding us that there is a vitamin for the day. Praise God. Father, Lord, we are so grateful once again this evening. We are so, so grateful for what you have done. Thank you once again for your word that has come to us powerfully. Once again, reminding us of who you are. Hallelujah. Reminding us that your plan for us from the beginning is perfect soundness and wholeness. Therefore, Lord, we key to it back once again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Father. Thank you, the lily of the valley. For in Jesus' gracious name we have prayed. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please let's bring out our tithe and our offering. Hallelujah. Our tithe and our offering in the presence of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Let's lift it up as, as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this offering. We appreciate you, Lord. Receive all the glory, honor, and adoration in the name of Jesus. Father, we are giving this title, Lord, because you have first given to us. You have first loved us, O Lord. And Father, we are giving it, O King of glory. Believing, O Lord, that it will be very, very useful to the advancement of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' gracious name. And for every title, O Lord, Father, we rebuke every form of devourers from their money, from their wealth, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. For in Jesus' gracious name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, let's take our seats. For a very few minutes, hallelujah. We remember that this weekend, once again, we are still in our season of expansion, hallelujah. We are still having our outreach at Agege, hallelujah. Do we remember that? I hope we still remember. Yes, this weekend, once again, is another time in the presence of God. Hallelujah. If you cannot go on your own to win, so why not join? Why not let do it corporately? And the corporate anointing always works. Praise the Lord. So this 
weekend, Friday and Saturday, once again, by 5 p.m. at Underbridge Agege Pen Cinema. We are having our outreach once again. Hallelujah. The Lord delivered you. You were saved. So come and join to bring another soul into the house of God. And like the Bible said, there is a joy in heaven over a soul, over a sinner that comes to God. Hallelujah. And you, if you join, I tell you, the Lord will not leave you unrewarded. He sure knows how to reward you. Praise the Lord. And his reward will come to you greatly in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. This evening I declare wholeness to you. Spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. Financially you are made whole. Physically you are made whole. Spiritually you are made whole. In the name of Jesus. In your career you are made whole. Everything about you is whole. Absolute and perfect wholeness. In Jesus gracious name. Praise the Lord. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest.